Who is it? Hi there. Oh, it's you. How's the ADBP been treating you? It's awesome. It really helped us out. Hmm, <laughs> of course. My tools are the best there is. Um, we seem to have forgotten your name. Oh, hmm. Right. I'm Professor Honeycomb, renowned scientist of the Bee Kingdom. Or I was, until that Dr. HB took my spot. HB's creations all use weird tech she found studying the old roaches, you see. Disgusting. While I do use ancient crystals, the roaches didn't create them. I'd never use borrowed technology for my experiments. I'll create the perfect ADBP through my own superior intellect. What, the beamerang isn't good enough yet? Yours is nothing special, it's just one of many in the ADBP Mark II series. When I finish the Mark III, they will seem like children's toys. What? Can't you upgrade mine again? I'd consider it, if only because of the data you've helped me round up. If I managed to harness the crystal energy into the prototypes, the ADBP could spin forever, generating infinite energy! That's really not how physics works. Then I'd reclaim my spot as the Bee Kingdom's lead scientist. You have a noble goal. Won't you let us help you, in the name of science? Maybe later, but for now, be gone. You're getting in the way of my research. Yikes. Fine. Let's come back later. Completely forgot about this guy. I didn't ever actually go into this room when we were in the beehive. Welcome back to Bug Fables, the Everlasting Sapling. We have side quest stuff to do as we continue the interlude between chapters 3 and 4. I would like to go back to Dr. HB for a mistake or a misgiving that I had in the previous part. Hello there. I have, in fact, got something with crystals in it, though I don't know if it tells you in-game or has told me personally in-game yet. You told me in the comments that it's the Explorer's Permit. Bingo! Authentic permits given to exploration teams house crystals in them. It must be overflowing with combat data. I don't get how that works. You don't need to understand. <laughs> Just check the computer behind me to start the BOSS program. Technology has advanced at an incredible pace. Indeed, I've registered you all under the BOSS terminal already. If you have any questions about it, just come and ask me. I am so eager to see it in action. Okay, so now that we can access the BOSS terminal. Reading crystal data, done. Logging in. Welcome, Vi, Kabu, and Leaf. This is the BOSS terminal. How can I assist you today? Single battles or rush mode? Rush mode sounds like a boss rush. I'm here for single battles. I just want to see one thing. I suppose it would be a mini-boss. Uh, Acolyte Aria, a Honey Notion, Monsha Scarlet. This is the fight that I want to redo at some point, because it's the only fight we haven't done on hard mode in the entire game. So, at some point, not now, because I don't know if this drains resources, which I don't have right now, um, I'm going to come back and I'm going to do Monsha Scarlet on hard mode. I'm glad that you can come back and do this, because that is something that I wanted to do. And any other boss that we miss on hard mode, I will come back and do on hard mode here. I think I can at least attempt it. Uh, so we got a thing. B-O-S-S. Using cutting-edge solid vision technology and the records contained in ancient crystals, this super expensive machine can let you relive fights from the past. Excellent. Well, continuing on our side quests, uh, I have to do some resource gathering because there is a certain chef in need. And while we're here... Explorers, the Queen has approved escorts between the outskirts and Defiant Route. This will take us about... This will take us back to the entrance of the desert, so we don't have to go through the desert again. Um, out kind of near the... Um, the Organization HQ place. Uh, you don't have what I need, which is unfortunate. But since we're here... Uh, there's a couple of things I want to do before I go see Crispy as well, especially because we need a... Oh, these these guys are new enemies, I think. Uh, well, not new enemies, but these guys weren't here before. Uh, I don't think we can get across that way, but we can use Leaf's bubble shield, I think, to cross these spikes. Here we go. Yeah. So I need a spicy berry um, to help out Crispy, and we don't have one right now, so I'm going to explore and see if I can find one. Uh, excuse... Actually, while I'm here. Bonk. 
Shortcut activated. You stop that. We're not going to fight you. We don't have time for that. Let's see what's off this way. Yeah, so I'm just going to head out uh, around here and see what I can find. A meditation medal. The equipped allies do nothing command restores one TP as well. Okay. So if there's ever a situation where I guess Kabu can't hit something uh, because it's flying and we can't knock it down for whatever reason, like, I don't know, Vai is dead or something, uh, that could be useful just to get a little bit of TP back. Uh, that could make all of the difference in the end, one TP. So that was worth checking out. And there are some other areas, I think, with spikes that we need to go check out as well. Do you have anything else in stock? Uh, do I talk to you? Uh, no, it doesn't look like you can shuffle your stock around. We need a spicy berry, so that's what I'm looking for. Alright, leaf. Take us over here. Excuse me, don't want to fight you. Anything down this way? Doesn't look like it. What's over here, then? Oh, an oasis. I, now, you see, I saw this plant, and I thought... That looks a little bit lush, a little bit green for the desert. And I guess it makes sense that it'd be right by an oasis. And it looks like our friends are here as well. Hi there. It's Stratos and Delilah. Wonder what they're doing here. Hello there. Hiya. Fancy meeting you here. Indeed. It seems that you are also curious about this mountain over here. Somewhat. What can you tell us about it? This is Stream Mountain, called that because of the very oasis here, as the water comes from it. We've heard a very powerful monster lives in here, so we are investigating. A monster? Yeah, I don't know much of it yet, but it seems pretty nasty. Be careful if you explore the mountain, lots of strong creatures live inside. But we bet it's full of treasure. Thank you either way. Hmm, treasure! Just say safe, alright? wouldn't want to be blamed if you went missing. I like these guys. They seem to um, kind of foreshadow a little bit of what's to come in the game. Because we saw them at the sand castle. I don't know what I expected to happen there. I just wanted to have a dip. Now this is something. Water flowing freely in the desert. Bottoms up. I'm taking a big chug. Why, I wouldn't mind splashing my face a bit either. Perhaps we could even find the source of it if we look around. Well, I think I see it. I think it might be up there. Oh. Looks like uh, we could probably get through there at some point as well. Uh, what about this snoozing dude? Ugh, that was a total failure. The boss will have at me. I'll just hope he can manage to trick some chumps at the well. Excuse me, sir, are you alright? Oh, yeah, I am alright. Uh, 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 it's something wrong? Hey, it's nothing, bud. Just taking a break here near the water. <laughs> they don't remember me. Uh, sure thing, bud. Yeah, I had a feeling this might be, might have been one of the bandits that we dealt with previously. Okay, we can't go off this way. So I'm guessing this mountain is something that we can't quite explore yet, but I'm glad that we checked it out nonetheless. Now, I return on the hunt for a spicy berry. Another area here that we can bubble shield across. What else does the desert have for us? Huh. A pedestal of some description. I forgot these little cactolings come to life. An agaric shroom, which we've seen before. And something significant through there, perhaps. It looks as if it might be roach-related. Looks similar to stuff that we've seen in... Um, in Snake Mouth, which is actually somewhere we need to go back to at some point, since there are a million things that we need to do. Okay. What's this? Nothing? Do we just have to drop down here? Perhaps. What's all this, then? Those poor cacti. It must be so difficult being bunched up together. Come on, Kabu. Plants don't have feelings. Venus. I thought I was going to get something about whatever this is, but apparently not. Uh, hmm. Okay, I guess we'll just head this way, then. Okay, there's a little bit more. It would seem that this is a former settlement of some description. Hey, bud. This statue seems eerily familiar. A roach? Oh, it's you! That's correct, it's most likely a statue of the Roach Village founder. That's right, we saw some ruins in Snakemouth too. 
What? Yeah, it was all around when we found the artifact. Incredible. This is information you should have shared right away. I guess that explains why this key was here. That key, could it be for the sand castle? Don't ask me, but roaches and artifacts often pop up together. Just what made them disappear? This is what I want to know. All the damage you see is simply a result of the passage of time. A few sandstorms here and there roughed up the place, but with the oasis so close by, I find little reason this place would be abandoned. Most curious. Uh-huh. Hey, you wouldn't mind giving that to us, right? We really need it. You're asking me to hand you over a priceless historical relic? P please we'll return it. Well, sure, if it really leads to the artifact, it'll give my research a boost. We got the heaven key. One of the keys guarding the path of the last artifact symbolizes the sky. Thanks, Hawk. Do get back to me with any developments. I'll head back to Professor Honeycomb's lab to compile my findings. If you ever drop by, please share what you found with the key with me. Will do. Safe travels, Hawk. Okay, so that was plot. <laughs> That's a key! One left! We should go back to town and ask around where the other key could be. Yeah, I think we need to go see the, um... The mayor of Defiant Root, right? Or just look around ourselves. We could indeed also just look around ourselves. Anything in here... Doesn't look like it. This is where I would hide something. I guess we kind of just stumbled back on the main plot then, in a way. As I was looking around for extra stuff. There are other places I want to go now that we have Bubble Shield as well. I've been told to go back to Golden Settlement. Uh, but there is... Huh. Would you look at that? <laughs> it leads back to the Oasis. But the route hasn't opened up yet. Uh, yeah, there's a plenty of other things that we can do before we continue to proceed with the plot. Anything hidden here? See, these are the kinds of places I would hide things if I made the game. But I didn't make the game, so I guess not. Oh, this just loops back around. Okay. Alright, I'm going to continue on my search for a spicy berry, and then we will go and see Crispy at last. Here we go, a spicy berry. It was all the way back here, but uh, that's fine, because it should be very quick and easy for us to get back to Crispy now. Thanks to a convenient shortcut, we are now back in Defiant Roots, and we're going to head over to the market, because there's a few things that we can do here. First of all, I want to go and grab a spud from the poison shop. Thank you very much. Three berries, very cheap. And, since we have money to spare now, I'm going to finally get a blessing. Or a charm, as they are called in this game. Uh, which should be worth having. I'm going to spend all my money on the expensive one, because I don't really know if we need to spend much money on anything else right now. And, if I do need money, I will grind for it. There you go. Now you're all charmed up. Who knows how it'll help you out. Might even get you out of a pinch. Come back later when you want more charms. Let's see what that's all about then. I guess uh, we'll have to get into some fights to uh, see the effects of that. But it probably is going to make grinding for money easier if we need to. Alright. Hey, Crispy. Hey, hey, welcome to Crispy's. You're the fine ones that took my request, right? What's up? We'll help you train. So I had this idea for a dish. I'm going to need a spud that I can make something really good. Um, probably... Well, well, fortunately, we have a danger spud for you. Yes, this is perfect. I'll get right to it. Wish me luck. Good luck. Aha, my flower really did the trick. Try it out. You got a yam bread. Tasty. As the name says, it's bread made with yam. How's it look? Honestly, pretty good. Awesome. I'm ready to step it up a little. Just a little. Let's see. Try to bring me a succulent berry. I'll try to make something super tasty. I can do that. A succulent berry. I came prepared. <laughs> yes, this is perfect. Good luck once more. Yeah, I already did this, but I couldn't use the recording because there was no game audio. So I saved myself some time and came prepared this time. <laughs> I'm so glad I was right. The succulent berry's real flavor comes out when you bake it. You got a succulent platter. Restores 2 HP to the party for 2 turns. Great to share on a sunny day. I'm getting so much better. Alright, I can finally do it. The forbidden recipe. First, I'm going to need a spicy bomb to give the dish a really nice boom. Uh, a bomb? 
Then I'll bake it with an Obama honey. I'm so excited. Wait, an Obama honey? That plus a bomb? Are you sure? We're curious, but mostly worried. It's, um, really risky, but the legend says it will bring honey to a new level. I was really scared to try it before, but I've trained so much, I think I can pull it off. Team, let's believe in Crispy. If we don't, then why did we take that mission? I mean, you're right, but... If it's forbidden, it's probably super delicious. Let's do this. Okay, jeez, we'll bring it. I've got a bad feeling, though. Oh, thank you so much. I won't disappoint you, I promise. Okay, well, you're going to need to make me a spicy bomb, uh, which I have the ingredients for here. We are going to need a hard seed and a spicy berry. There's the spicy bomb. And now, since I went and got myself an Obama honey previously, here we go. He's going to cook the forbidden recipe. Oh no, did I mess up? Oh, okay, I guess we're fighting. You've perfected cloning, I guess? You know what's funny is this fight is actually, um... It's playing the boss fight music. This fight is actually not on hard mode because I turned it off grinding the Obama honeys because I didn't need it on for grinding Obama honeys. It was no challenge, it was just a drain on resources. Uh, I did not expect to be getting into a fight in the bakery. So, uh, this shouldn't be too much of a problem. Let's turn Relay to Leaf. Alright, well that's that. I like Crispy hiding in the back as well. What did we get? You got an Abomination. A very, very dangerous and unstable bomb. Deals damage to everyone, but restores lots of TP. That seems risky. I don't get it. I did everything right, I think. A bomber honey is super dangerous, doesn't matter how good you bake it. Sorry, I guess the forbidden wasn't just for show. It's okay, Crispy. Even if it wasn't food, you cooked it to perfection. Shame we couldn't eat it, though. Hmm. Wait up, okay. I'm gonna try again. Not following any old legend. The dish is all me. Thank you, everyone. For real now. Something yummy only I can cook. You got a crispy donut. The ultimate sweet created through Crispy's diligent practice restores 12 TP. This looks fantastic, Crispy. Oh, the texture. I made some more for everyone. Whoa, it's super yummy. Incredible. We must have more. It's all thanks to your help. If you ever bring me a glazed honey and a flower bag, I'll make you more. You've earned yourself a regular. <laughs> You're going to be famous in no time. I'll have to be careful not to eat too many. <laughs> nah, -uh, give us more. We're best friends now. Come back whenever you want and I'll bake some real tasty stuff. Excellent. Glad that quest is complete. That's going to be a really useful place to stock up on resources. I think, since we're in Defiant Route, we should probably go and talk to the mayor. I'm kind of mixing main quest and side quest stuff, but I'm just kind of trying to make the best use of my time, and, like, I'm here, so I might as well. And I'm pretty sure we were told to go and see the mayor at some point, who I believe is up here. Ah, oh, Kabu, good to see you. Delilah's filled me in. No, it's my pleasure. Thanks for everything. Ah, oh, don't think of it. You've got info on the sand castle, correct? That I do. The castle is an ancient roach structure, rumored to be at the northeastern corner of the Lost Sands. Mind you, that room is older than I am. But there is a weird tablet in that part of the desert. It's the only clue we have, so any ideas on how to get in? Well, scholars say that you need the Heaven and Earth keys to enter the castle. I've got a lead on only one of them. It's said to be with the bandits. They've been causing us enough trouble as is. Ask around town. Someone could have a clue on their hideout's whereabouts. Maybe some of, her, of the other key, even. If Elizant wasn't lying, time is of the essence. It's time to search. Stay safe, you three. The sands are unforgiving to those unprepared. I have my team. Worry not. We'll protect each other. I have no doubt. Even so, you've got to accept this little gift from the good old mayor. Forty-five berries! Whoa! Mayor, this is too much! 
Take it, Kabu. You can't say no. Thank you, Mayor. We will return safely. Glad that I did that. That pays for our blessing and more. Okay. Well, that's progressed the main quest a little bit, so now back to doing side quest stuff. Have we talked to you? You're cool. Ah, it's too hot. Isn't there an ancient fan in here? Uh, no. You must be Aramie. Ah, yep, that's me. How can we help you combat this heat spell? Leaf, freeze her up. Wow, what a nice breeze. Mission complete. Bay up. Wait, it's already hot again. I'm super thankful, but I need something that will last after you're gone. Hmm. Perhaps an umbrella or some sort of ointment to shield you from the sun's rays? I'll take anything, really. Please, I'm begging you. So much for the easy check. We'll find something, so sit tight. Try not to uh, work yourself up until then. Okay, well, that was a thing that we needed to do, which we will progress with uh, when it happens, I guess. That's kind of how these things are happening. <laughs> All right, we're going to head over to the Golden Settlement next. Wait a second. There's a Mothiva doll back here. A doll of Mothiva, the superstar. Maybe someone lost it? I'm not sure if that's a quest item or if we just have a doll of Mothiva now. Maybe it's a quest item. Okay, so we've come back to the area just outside the Golden Settlement because I've been told that there is something you can do with Bubble Shield. I've just put the uh, Bug Me Not medal on. I'm not sure if it's going to affect these enemies, but I hope it does. Uh, I'm just going to have that on just to get rid of any uh, lower level enemies that we don't need to be dealing with right now. Wait a second. That looks like where we need to be going. Can I do this? I can. I have no idea if that's what you're meant to do, but this is an area we haven't been to yet. What's this? A cave all the way out here? It's full of chompers! This may be the nest where they've all come from. Let's proceed with caution. Is this a dungeon? That's a big chomper. That might actually be a new enemy. Hold on. Oh, it hit me. Depth perception gets me once more. Ouch. Fortunately, hard mode is back on, so this encounter is at the optimum difficulty, I guess. So yeah, I was told to come to uh, the Golden Hills, I think it's called. This area outside of the Golden Settlement um, in order to check some things out because there's new stuff to see now that I have Bubble Shield. Hang in there, Vi. We need to spy on this thing. Um, actually, I'm gonna... Yeah, no, we'll do it with Leaf's turn. A Chomper Brute. Chompers are cute when they're small. This one's lost a lot of the charm. We'd best freeze it before it spawns too many reinforcements. Oh, you better believe. That has a lot of health. All right, then. Well, let's turn relay to Leaf. This is why I actually was considering doing it with someone else, because I didn't know if we would need Leaf. But time for our dominant strategy. Okay, uh, and we are going to secret stash Vi, because she needs it. Alright, we could preserve another turn here, but I think we're just going to hit it very hard. <laughs> Let's swap positions, put Kabu in front. It's been a while since we've had him do the big damage. Boom! Six damage. And then Tornado Toss as well, why not? Never mind, enemy has defense, my mistake. Forgot about that. Uh, well. That TP would have been best used using another Frigid Coffin, I guess. Hey, a blessing. It's gonna boost Kabu's attack. Bonk. Oof. Okay, those things hit kinda hard. I think we'll just avoid them from now on. But hey, we got a drowsy cake. An old favorite of mine, actually. And I'm just gonna... Let me see here. Yeah, we're gonna use the crispy donut and just restore that TP, because we need it. And we'll use this yam bread as well. We can always make more now that we have the recipes. Um, now we're gonna... 
Yeah, you stop that. I don't want to deal with that. Oh, you are fast. This music is good, though. Excuse me. There's a crack in the wall there. Doesn't look like we can get through it, though. Oh, come on. That was an early block on my part. Hey, thanks for the health. This blessing was worth my time. And money. Nice. This is a very annoying place to be, because these enemies do not die. Uh, they have a lot of health, they heal when they hit you, um, and they keep making more of themselves. So, uh, not, not a great place to be, really. Uh, I want to avoid conflict if I can, in fact. Oh, no. No, stay away from me. Freeze. I said freeze. See ya. <laughs> hmm. Am I going to be able to make this jump? Let's find out. Answer? No. Nothing back there. Had to check. I don't like this place. I don't know what just happened there, but they both died. Oh, I have the Bug Me Not badge on. So it's only the big chompers, I think? Uh, how do they want me to do this? No, I can't just make that jump. Okay. Yeah, maybe it's just the big chompers that uh, I can't avoid with Bug Me Not. Huh. <laughs> I was worried about that this whole time. Yeah, because the big chompers keep interacting with uh, you. You know what? Ain't got time for this. Heal me. Thanks. Do not want to deal with that. Goodbye. <laughs> What's through here? Oh, this looks like a boss fight. How are we doing on resources? We have the succulent platter. If all else fails, we have the abomination. I don't know if I'm prepared for this. Uh, it's probably really worth it, though. We'll come back and do this later. We have other side quests to do. <laughs> Yeah, thanks for letting me... Ow. Yeah, thanks for letting me know about that. Um, I will do it. I just won't do it right yet, because I don't know if I'm fully prepared for it. Excuse me. Um, do not cross the spike pit. That's probably why they were telling us not to cross the spike pit. But that will be uh, on my list of priorities. I think what I'm probably going to do is finish off any other side quests that I haven't done yet. Um, and then I'm probably going to do that cave, and also I'm going to do the Scarlet rematch. Haha! -ha. Are you the one with the missing butler? Oh, you explorers, you've got that reliable aura. That's correct. Madeline, I presume? That's me. Yeah, I'm so grateful for your help. You see, Seb, my dear butler, got lost while we enjoyed our pilgrimage. I've searched quite a bit, but I am helpless finding my way without him. Pretty please, could you try and find him for me? How's he like? It'd help us. Right. He's precious. Tiny. With an orange bow tie. He shouldn't have gone far. Please do your best, yes. And I'll reward you appropriately. <laughs> We're on it. Just hang in there. Okay, so we have a side quest here in the Golden Hills to find a butler. This should probably be easy. Uh, especially with Bug Me Not. But let's just check everywhere. Oh, hey, this is a thing that we can bubble shield. Over here we go. Hey, nice orange boat. Gosh. I really should hold the button for a little bit longer. 
Hi, nice orange bow tie. That bow tie? Are you Seb by any chance? Oh dear, could Milady have sent you? I'm so relieved. She must be worried sick. It's disgraceful that I would worry her so fleeing upon the sight of monsters. I can only hope she'll forgive me. Stop worrying and she'll be quite pleased to see you. You truly think so? Then without further delay, let's not keep her waiting. My, how devoted. Just stay close to us, we'll get you through safely. I don't know if you can trust me to do such a thing. <laughs> Spikes have become my nemesis. Uh, can we just go the whole way back? Yeah, we really can, gee. Is there anywhere else that we can go like this? Is it just going to take us kind of around this area? Yeah, I think we've seen everything else that we needed to see. Yeah, I was thinking about that area previously when we were here for progression's sake. Like, we can't get over there. And, uh, well, now you know. It was a thing. Glad he had the confidence to jump all the way down with us like that. Seb, my dear, you're safe. Milady, sorry to have troubled you so. Oh, how would my life be without you to help me? I can only hope my absence would be noted, milady. But of course. Oh, brave explorers, I can't thank you enough. I can think of one or two nice ways to say thanks. <laughs> no worries. I haven't forgotten your huge kindness. As a token of my gratitude, I hope you will make good use of this. You got a law book. Excellent. With that said, shall we head back? I fancy some burly tea. Of course, my lady, with some sweet bread. You know me too well. Brave explorers, may we meet again someday. Cool. Another quest complete. We got a law book, which means we need to head back to the library in the Ant Kingdom, which is good because the last other side quest of the day that we're going to take care of is also in the Ant Kingdom. And I doubt that we're going to be able to complete this side quest, it's just progression with the Vi side quest. So, there are so many side quests that we need to do. Um, I've also been told I need to return to Snake Mouth for Leaf's side quest, and we will do that. I just can't do that now, because we've been, we've been at it for quite some time, and we need to wrap up now. Okay, Law Book. I give it to you. Uh, I can turn in some discoveries, 25 discoveries, three more, next reward tier, victory buzz medal. We'll check that out in a moment. Oh, hey, it's you. Did you find any books? I sure did. Ah, oh, wonderful. That is one of ours. Yes, I'll put it on the shelf, so check it out whenever. Excellent. Lesser buds. After the day of awakening, many bugs changed forms. We evolved to be able to live as we do now. But not all bugs evolved, some remained untouched by the awakening. We call them lesser bugs. Spiders, midges, weevils, and some others did not gain sentience. They remain unchanged. The causes for that are still being researched, but unless another day of awakening happens, it will be difficult to study the changes. However, it's been concluded lesser bugs have become more ferocious and will attack bugs that come near them. There's your explanation for why some bugs can talk and others attack. Hey, I don't know if we have any more bad books for you. That sad glimmer in your eye, you found a bad book? We have not. Sorry, you were mistaken. A uh, shame. Okay. Uh, then the last thing that we need to do is talk to an individual in the plaza in the Ant Kingdom town. All the way this way. Big fan of the Kabu Dash ability. Saves a lot of time. I think it's you. Hey, Cubs! You've been out? I'm sorry, Anne. I don't get to babysit you much anymore, do I? I can't imagine Kabu babysitting. We can. Oh, we can. <laughs> Look at this cool thing I bought. I saved up all my allowance. What an adorable souvenir. It carries the warmth of the Ant Kingdom. Hmm? W wait, wait. You two can't be... That's a pretty cool toy. You wouldn't, uh, sell it back, right? What? No, it was the last one in this shop. W what if we got you a cooler toy? Cubs, your friends are weird. Please excuse them. They, um, uh, really need it. The only place that makes cooler toys is Metal Island. No way I could ever afford going there. Ugh, that's where the boat at the ferry takes you to, right? 
That's like one bajillion berries. Still, if we get a toy from there, you'd consider it? Yeah, it'd be a super fair trade. Well, let's find out how to get there without going broke. And the quest continues. I, I'm actually a big fan of quests like this. They're a little tedious, but this game is very um, considerate of your time when it comes to moving around the map, so it's actually a lot less inconvenient in this game compared to other games that have done similar kinds of quests. We still have a million side quests to do if we check our quest list. Um, we continue on Lost Books and Awful's Beauty. We have Leaf's Quest, which is going to take us back to Snake Mouth at some point. Uh, we still haven't started this for Cut. We need to fight a Golden Seedling, so that's something I'm going to have to do at some point. Uh, we're continuing on Vi's quest right now. We have the Power Plant investigation to do. We now have a Bandit Hunt as well. Um, that's kind of tying into what we will be doing when we head back out into the desert to continue on the main quest, so we'll pick that up then. Uh, we also saw Eremi. We don't really have a solution for her yet. Um, so yeah, we've got a lot of things going on. I think in the next part we're going to fight that big chomper boss, and then we're going to head out to Snake Mouth as well. And if we have time, we'll fight Scarlet as well. So I think we're going to be doing a lot of fighting in the next part, and I'm going to have to make the adequate preparations. As always, your feedback and advice is greatly appreciated. A couple of spoiler-free tips here and there really save me a lot of time, and I really do appreciate it. Until the next part, thanks for watching, and take care.